Yo, what's up? This is the motherfucking example video from my fucking video training session. Now you need to fucking know how to use these different editing techniques. And that's why I'm gonna fucking show you how to use the motherfucking Premiere software next. You fucking whores, drink beer. So as you can see, I've got all this shit set up right now to actually record myself. So what you do when you want to actually start making a video is set up the background area. As you can see here, there's a bunch of slop all around in here. This is not the way you want it done. But as you can see here, I've got the fucking couch with the backdrop set. I've got a motherfucking drum set back there and everything looks clean. This is fucking important so that you don't distract motherfuckers with your fucking dirty underwear and your fucking snot rags or whatever fucking rags you may have around your motherfucking house. You bitch. So, think about what the fuck you want to say in your video. That's another thing you need to do. And don't be nervous. Who the fuck gives a shit if you mess up? That's what the fucking editing software is for. If you say some stupid shit, you just edit it out when you're fucking done with the motherfucking video. You bitch. So, set yourself up. Let yourself see yourself in the viewfinder. But don't look at yourself or it'll look like you have a motherfucking lazy eye. You fucking push the button and you fucking situate your ass. Wait for the index to be gone off the motherfucking tape. And then you begin. Yo, what's up? This is the motherfucking example video from my fucking video training session. I am a flaming douchebag. Now you need to fucking know how to use these different editing techniques. And that's why I'm gonna fucking show you how to use the motherfucking Premiere software next. You fucking whores, drink beer. All right, that's done. As you can see, I called myself a flaming douchebag. Not good. Mushroomhead, you fuck! Also, you have to realize that these motherfucking animals can invade your set any time. So, the next thing you want to do is change your camera from record mode to play mode. Every camera is different. Look in your motherfucking instruction manual. Then, find the fucking port, which is right here, on your camera. And then use the cable that I told you to get. Put it in the motherfucking port. Like so. Then put the other end in your computer. You should hear something like the USB signal when you put this motherfucking cord in your computer. As you can see, my computer requires a six pin connection, but my camera, ah, uh, you can hear it, requires a four pin connection. That's done. Now your fucking camera is directly connected to your computer. <coughs> now it's time to capture. Open up your motherfucking video editing software and make a new project. You're gonna want standard 48 kilohertz. If you wanna make a movie, you can do widescreen, but there's no point in doing this. Make it 48 kilohertz. If you fucking film in widescreen for some reason, obviously you wanna choose widescreen. This is NTSC. If you live in Europe, you wanna use PAL. You can fucking take this opportunity to decide whether or not you fucking want to be European or American, or Japanese. In this case, we use NTSC standard as well. They're both good. It doesn't fucking matter. Give yourself a name for your project. Then you'll see this screen. The fucking window to your left shows your assets. These are your assets. It's the things you use to make your fucking video. This is the monitor. This shows the video itself. Over here, you have some fucking source 
monitor, which I have minimized, as you can see. Your source monitor shows the original video and is ultimately unnecessary to use in this motherfucking case, but it's right here. It'll show your original capture. And these are your effect controls, which I'll explain later if you want to put an effect on your motherfucking video. Down here is the timeline. This is a very important place. All these fucking windows can be adjusted to become bigger or smaller. Your effects controls are right above the motherfucking uh, timeline. So you, this is where you actually assign the effect to something. And this is where you, like, change the effect of the effect. If that makes any motherfucking sense to you, you fuck. If it doesn't, go back to grade school and learn how to speak English. What you need to do is capture. So go to File, Capture. Other video software is exactly the same. File, Capture. Do this. You'll see a fucking screen and it will say Stopped. This directly controls your camera. From here you can fucking turn your camera on you can play from your camera. You can rewind your tape, which is going to be necessary in this case. So as you can see, here is the motherfucking tape of myself. I just fucking rewound to it. Hit the record button. This is the motherfucking example video for my fucking video training session. I am a flaming douchebag. Now you as you can see, you can fucking have a timer on the top showing you how much of the data has actually made it. If you have a slow computer, you may drop frames. This is what you don't want. That's that. Hit stop, and you have a fucking untitled clip. Now your clip is in your assets, you bitch. Take your clip from your assets and drag it to your timeline. You can use the tools to fucking manipulate your timeline and your motherfucking assets. Where are the tools? Why, they're right here in the motherfucking corner. This is the fucking zoom in tool. So take a look at your motherfucking thing. Uh oh, I zoomed in too far. Hold down the alt button if you fucking want to unzoom your motherfucking thing back to a acceptable level. From now on, I'm going to put this fucking thing on the tripod. I had to use this camera to fucking capture. So as you can see, here's the motherfucking timeline. I'm going to play this. There's something I said I'd rather not fucking include in the, the final video. Example video from my fucking video training session. I am a flaming douchebag. Okay, now I said that. I definitely don't want that in the motherfucking video. So, take this razor blade tool over here and you fucking use it to cut the motherfucking thing. Look at your audio information down there. Fucking cut it right out of there. And click on the arrow select the clip you can use the right mouse button to clear it right off of the motherfucking thing there's some space there now you can do ripple delete and that space will be gone now listen to this motherfucking thing play training session now you need to fucking know there was a jump cut these different editing techniques but and that's why i'm gonna fucking show you how to use the motherfucking premiere software next that's why you fucking do that. To get those shitty things you say you don't want people to hear out of your motherfucking video. When you finally put the thing out, it's gonna look good. You bitch.